Before the next business, I have a short statement to make. In media interviews last week, the Chancellor announced that she intended to introduce changes to the fiscal rules relating to the funding of day-to-day -day spending through tax receipts and to the measurement of the public debt. These are major new policy announcements with significant and wide-ranging implications for the Government's fiscal policy and for the public finances. It is evident to me this should therefore have been made in the first instance in this House and not to the world's media. This principle is clearly unambiguously set out in paragraph 9.1 of the Ministerial Code. While this can hardly be described as a leak, the Chancellor herself gave interviews on the record and on camera. The premature disclosure of the contents of the budget has always been regarded as supreme discourtesy to the House. Indeed, I still regard it as such. I am very, very disappointed that the Chancellor expects the House to wait nearly a full week to hear her repeat these announcements in the Budget Statement on Wednesday. I have always defended and doubted the right of this House, including the opposition parties, backbenchers in all parts of the House, to be the first to hear major government policy announcements. Ministers should expect to face proper, sustained scrutiny when these announcements are made for the elected members of this House and not for the American news channels. I can assure the Government that it is still my firm view and that I will use the powers they have to make sure the House is able to hold ministers to account. I am glad there is a statement later on fiscal rules. Perhaps no coincidence. Honourable members may be wondering how they will get a seat on Wednesday. We will be quite honest, the way it is going, you will not need to. We will have all have heard it first in here. It is not acceptable. I do not want it to continue, and I want to treat this House with the respect it deserves. I am not with this side or that side. It is totally unacceptable to go around the world telling everybody rather than these members. They were elected by the constituents of this country, and they deserve to be treated better, whatever. And is not it funny? When it was the previous party, it was the opposite side that was complaining to me. Get your acts together, all sides. Treat members with respect. Right, let's come to the urgent question. Ian Duncan Smith.